Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Michelle, and my daughter back there, Caroline. All right, guys, so we're up, we're dressed, and a um, little story time for you this morning. So the other night, as you guys know, Dad's TDY, okay? Dad's not here. And I'm never, ever scared in our house. That's just, I'm just not built with fear, guys. I'm really not. So I don't leave all the lights on. I go to sleep at normal, like just to go to sleep, pass out, got it. I do stay up, however. Like I'm a later like person that stays up. So I just went to bed, it was 11.30. You were sound asleep, right? Like, okay, everybody's passed out. I had passed out at 11.30, which is super early for me. But anyways, I passed out at 11.30. So you know like when you first go to sleep, you go into like that deep coma sleep. Like somebody is being sassy. Go into like that deep, you're just, you're asleep. Okay, so guys, I need you to like picture this. The house is quiet. Our house is huge, okay? Like, I'm not saying that bragging. I just want you to kind of picture the whole thing. There's a lot of rooms in our house, okay? A lot of unknown areas, right? So, we're sleeping in the bed, sound asleep, totally quiet, and you hear this. That's what you hear. That is what you hear and you were sound asleep. That I know. I know the difference between my fire alarms. I know the difference between something's just went off to let me know somebody's entered my house. And I are in the bed together in my room. Caroline's across the hall in her room. Okay, we already have protocols. We have ABC protocols. Caroline knows certain rules that she's allowed to do if she hears that and certain not because she's already been warned. Don't ever cross certain paths because... My room's on, let's just say my room's on the other side right. of their bedroom. So right. she told me not to, yeah. Ever cross. Yeah. And to the middle. Um, because she could honestly get hurt. It, honestly, if I was firing a gun. I don't need her in the crosshairs if, if I'm shooting a well, gun. Well, we do have an exit plan, so. Right. So, so she knows her exit plan if she were to ever hear that. When I woke up, I mean, my heart <laughs> was Let's go. It didn't like, you didn't build up to it. You didn't nothing. Sound asleep, I woke up in let's go mode. So. I know the difference between a scream that's like a fun scream and a fearful scream. My voice went so deep in a fearful scream. I know what my fearful scream sounds like. I did too. It definitely was that. Like, it was so pitiful. When we get to that part of the story, okay? So I come to my door. I get everything situated that I need to. I come to the door, right? Well, in the mist, because I've always told you guys, it don't matter how, how like extreme something is, and this is everything in life, even if it's down to an argument, guys, take a breath and analyze it. Truly take a breath and just think it through. And even though I had went into this let's go mode, I took a breath, I was still doing stuff in the process, and I was like, wait, my dogs are not barking. Why are my dogs not barking? Okay. She barks and everything. So well, so. well, Bear doesn't. If somebody were in my house, you're not getting past Bear. So even in my mind, it was like, wait, something's off. Bear's not barking. Okay. So I knew then something was wrong. Like, not wrong, wrong. I knew nobody was in our house. So I come to my door. Christian does come right behind me. I looked at him and I said, back. Remember our plan. He done what he was supposed to do. So I come to the exit. And Carolyn's so good, she ain't said a word yet. I get right here, I can see the front door from where I'm at, and I can see the back door. Nobody's in here, okay? So at that point, <laughs> I, I, I know. at that point, I said, okay, our alarm is still going off. So we're trying to hear over that and everything. And I said- Our alarm does call the police too. Yes, so. it does call the police. So I've got phones ringing and I've got an alarm, and I've got every bit of that tuned out because at that point, it honestly is. I, I think I'm defending my house, so I'm doing nothing more than listening. And so I knew we were fine. And I said, Caroline, yes, what was your ass? I was like, oh. she shouldn't have said anything and I would have been fine, but she, oh, no. she said my name. I said, it took me a minute. It actually took me like two minutes to realize what was happening. And then when she said my name, I said, mommy, mommy. It was so, it broke my heart. It honestly did. But I said her name, 
because I knew it was fine in here. So I wanted her to have a relief that she was okay, and she did. This horrific scream came out, and she comes running. No, you had said that, and I said, Caroline, it's fine to cross. I don't even think I barely got those words out. And she just comes running <laughs> to her. And I was like, no, because I'm still not sure. I'm like almost trying to push her off. And I'm like, just go in there. And so about that time, of course, dad is calling. Okay, because dad has got the alert. And all this is happening super fast, guys. Like, you know, like I'm telling you the story, but it's all happening super fast. So dad's calling. The police has already called him. Like, it was straight up. Like, your heart is here. I mean, honestly. I think we my thought, heart, we like, thought somebody I was like had to pass out. Like my heart was beating so fast. <laughs> she was. I mean, and I'm not gonna lie, mine was too. Mine instantly woke up in defend your family mode. And if you've never had that feeling, I can't explain it to you. It is such a powerful feeling. I don't know. I've never felt like anything like that. But her poor reaction let me know it all. Like it was just. It was so, I don't know, it was so sad. I just, so after it was all said and done and I calmed the alarm down and got everything squirreled away, I honestly just wanted to hold my kids and be like, are you even gonna be able to go back to sleep? Are you, are you <laughs> I okay? Night. I was like, I'm oh, sleeping she came, with yeah. you. She came and slept with me the rest of the night. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going back in my room. <laughs> I seen her crawl into my bed and I was like, oh, so, so you're, <laughs> you're in here with me tonight too. <laughs> so, which was absolutely fine. But what had happened, was the back alarm was having a problem. Dad had already called and told us. For some reason, I'm getting an alert, Michelle, that somebody says it's the back door's been tampered with. Me and Caroline were up at that time. I'm like, dude, I'm looking at the back door. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not glowing. It's not telling me anything. It's not beeping. It's not beeping. He's like, well, you might want to take the bracket down. Maybe a Michelle. Eh. It looks fine to me. I'm going to bed. He said he had 40 something alerts saying the back door had been tampered with. So somewhere or another, my alarm had a faulty part in it. So, um, yeah, the alarm went off because it got tired of being like not fixed <laughs> in the middle of the night to let me know that it needed to be and fixed. I just went to sleep at like literally 11 30 when it went off and i was like right no it went off at 12 30 but 12, we had, yeah i literally yeah. just went to bed we had to yeah so i was already like in that deep sound sleep and, and it, it was just it, it was a bit crazy i'm not even gonna lie it, it was kind of like but that's our story of someone breaking in our house that was no one besides our own faulty <laughs> back door but very much i was so proud of every kid because they executed it to the finest level of what had already been told to do. So I was proud of all of them, even though they were scared out of their minds. <laughs> but I still think because Sashi's important to me, like I know they're important to me too, but I'm like, do I have enough time to grab my dog and run out the back door? I know. I am. And I'm like, because I'm going to grab Sashi and run because she's like my little comfort animal too. But I'm like, do I have enough time to run there and like run out the door? I knew though, um, in the first few seconds of getting me prepared for what I needed to do, my mind instantly, maybe it was God. He was like, listen, your dog's not barking. There's nobody in your house. And I was like, I mean, it was just instant. Like, wait, the dogs are not. Because like, you come in my house, you're going to meet Bear. So I knew that he did not see anybody, and he's just like, "Hey, mom." Um, <laughs> he thinks we're crazy. What What are we doing here? Like, what What's that loud I think noise? Sasha barks though. No, Sasha didn't. Oh really? No, because I know both those dogs barks between whether they're playing and whether they see something. I mean, because you just live here with them. So neither one of them. Both of them were like. I don't know what these people are doing, but I'm <laughs> sleeping. So we're up acting like idiots in the house. But that's what happens when dad's TDY. Isn't he glad he's not here to enjoy that? Um, so anyways, I'm probably going to end this video here because I'm probably like 10 minutes already in. But that was our experience for getting our house broken into, but not, thank God. Um... Yeah, so I always like to share our crazy experience just in case you've been there and done that <laughs> along the way. Um, key points is, is in those moments, try not to panic the best you can. Or if you're the adult, Caroline was about to lose her mind and that's okay. <laughs> she's To me, she's still a child. Um, and I knew when she called my name uh, that the fear was just releasing from her, which was fine. So, 
But anyway, so dad called us and was very much like, dad, no lie, I told you, I told you so. I was like, dude, I'm not one to hear I told you so after what we just experienced. He's like, but I told you so, right? <laughs> right? Like, I was like, yeah, bye, I love you. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we're going to end this video here. Thanks for listening to us talk as always, and we'll see you in the next. Bye.